Hey guys, welcome back to this Optivate tutorial. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create this spherical typography animation. So let's get started. Okay guys, let's start with the new comp and I'm gonna call this text placeholder one and I will go with 4000 width and 420 height. Okay, and I'm gonna go with uh, duration 30 and hit OK. Let's zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna add a uh, background, right click, new solid and let's call this pg hit ok now add a gradient ramp effect i'm gonna go to effect control and let's adjust these points like that and i will set this to radius and i will sweep colors and i'm gonna go with bluish color for this one okay you guys can experiment with these colors something like that and choose this text tool and add a text and i'm gonna select this and then press ctrl alt home on your keyboard and use a line tool to align it to the middle like that okay now i'm gonna just duplicate this text placeholder one so we have a duplicate i'm gonna open this one and let's change the color for this one so go to effect control and choose some kind of gray color something like this should work okay now we have two layers and i'm gonna create a new composition and let's call this text composite and i'm gonna go with full HD resolution 1920 by 1080 24 frames per second and duration 30 and hit okay let's drag this layer here okay now drag and drop this text placeholder one two here and i'm gonna create a new null layer right click new null object and I'm gonna call this text null. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna just duplicate these two layers. So select this and then hit Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate. I will put it below. Now we need to see this text. So I'm gonna make all of these layers 3D. Okay. Now I'm gonna choose my camera icon and then hold Alt. And I can just view from my camera like this. And I will set this to custom view so you guys can just see all of these layers clearly okay now we need to make this shapes box layer what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just select this and then hold shift on my keyboard and i'm gonna parent this to this text now this will reset all the positions of these layers if you press p as you can see after you reset all the values to zero like that now let's zoom out a little bit and i'm gonna just select this one and select the selection tool just drag a little bit forward like that and i'm gonna press p on my keyboard to view it and i'm gonna just give this minus 210 like that now we have second layer not this one we need the bluish one so we can place this behind and i'm gonna just press p again to view and just set the position here and i will set the c value to 210 like that now press r on your keyboard to bring the rotation and i'm gonna just rotate it by minus 90 like that now let's select this layer and bring it up like that and i'm gonna select this and then press p let's set the y value to minus 210 like that and now we have this layer and i'm gonna press r let's rotate it by 90 degree and then bring it down like that and i'm gonna just select this and then press p and i will set the value of this layer y 210 like that now we should check this as you can see we have this box shape and i'm gonna reset the camera angle select this reset default camera and it will reset the camera angle okay now let's scale this down so i'm gonna press s and scale it down something like that now let's rotate this so i'm gonna select this text now and then press r to bring the all the rotations and i'm gonna create a keyframe for the x in the zero second let's go two second mark and then let's rotate it by 180 degree like that now i'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and click on this stopwatch icon to add a loop expression so let's type loop out expression now if you press space bar as you can see now we have this animation as you can see uh, we need to adjust the rotation of this layer so let's press ctrl a to select all close this up and let's find this layer i think it's this one here let's hit r and then let's rotate x rotation by 180 like that okay now if you check the animation now you should have this looping box shape okay now perfect let's add a camera so right click new camera 
and I will go with these settings and I'm gonna hit OK. Now let's create a new composition and I'm gonna call this time displacement and I will go with same setting as before and I'm gonna hit OK like that. Let's bring it here and I'm gonna just drop this text composite right here like that. Okay, now let's create a new composition again and this will be our time map. So I'm gonna call this time map and I will go with same setting and I'm gonna hit okay. Now let's create a new solid like that and I'm gonna call this map and search for gradient ramp effect and apply it. Okay, and I will set this gradient ramp like that and that's basically for this composition so i'm gonna go to time displacement composition right here and i'm gonna just drag this time map to this composition now i'm gonna just hide it like that okay now let's select this text composition and i'm gonna search for time displacement effect let's search for time displacement and let's go to effect control and set the time displacement layer as our time map like that now i'm gonna set the max displacement time to minus one so it will go to the other side and i'm gonna just add a time remap effect so i'm gonna right click go to time and add a enable time remapping and let's go two second mark right here and i'm gonna create a keyframe and let's delete this last keyframe of this time remap we don't need that and i'm gonna hold alt and add a loop out expression like that now let's drag this layer here so we can avoid this glitch okay i'm gonna just put this keyframe right here as you can see if you check this animation you should have this really nice looking loop now i'm gonna create a new composition so let's create a new comp and this will be our final one so i'm gonna call this final composite and i'm gonna hit ok with the same setting and let's drag it here and i'm gonna just drag and drop this time displacement composition right here now i'm gonna go to time displacement composition again and i'm gonna just bring it up right here okay now let's go to final composition like that now i'm gonna just search for cc spare effect this one and let's increase the radius to 400 and go to rotation let's rotate it rotation x by minus 90 like that okay now i'm gonna animate the rotation y but before that let's go to light and set the light intensity to 50 and light height to 100 let's open the shading tab and uh, increase the ambient value to something around 70 yeah like that now let's go to zero second and create a keyframe for rotation y and set this to one now go to 10 second mark and set this to zero i'm gonna just select this and then press u on my keyboard to see the other keyframes and i'm gonna press n on my keyboard to in the composition right here now if you check the animation you should have this nice looking spherical loop animation by the way guys if you see this jagged edges like this you can go time displacement and then increase the time resolution uh, this will increase your render time okay this will fix that edge as you can see and i will go with back to default settings 60 and i am gonna go to final composition and that's basically it. i hope you guys enjoy this and thank you so much for watching also thank you so much for all the paid supporters i wish you guys in the next one peace